everybody, I finally am doing a YouTube video, even though I posted that I was doing one two weeks ago. <laughs> so, as I said, I'm Molly, I am the owner, founder, dyer, maker, all the things and hats person. I am 31, though I don't look it. Um, what else? I learned to dye when I was in Canada for Sweet Georgia Yarns, and then I came back to the UK back in May 2019. I was like, I'm going to give this a go. So you are currently in Mimo HQ, which is aka my spare bedroom, aka office, aka dye room. I would show you everything right now, but it's a mess, so let's not go there. So um, today I just wanted to talk about a few things. Some purchases I bought, um, just repping some small businesses. They are not paid ads, these are just things I've bought for myself um, that I wanted to show everybody. Um, as you can see, ooh, I bumped the screen. Um, as you can see behind me, I've got some yarn. Ooh, that's one of the things I want to show you. Um, and I just, yeah, I just wanted to come on and say hello. I hope you're well. I hope whatever this year has been, that it's coming down to a nice slow wind for you so you can just chill out with friends or family or just enjoy time on your own. Um, I think this year has definitely taught everybody that you need to take time for yourself, to not put pressure on yourself, to not follow people that cause you discomfort online, to stay in your own lane because when we start looking at what everybody else is doing we feel overwhelmed and it's just, it makes you feel crap basically. So I would definitely say if something is not bringing you joy to your life, genuinely, just get rid of it. That's what I've started doing. If I follow an account and it just doesn't fit with what I'm into, I just get rid of it. I don't get rid of them. There's nothing bad against them. I just unfollow. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to, you know, just look after yourself. Make sure that you are, are happy and you're not going to be happy all the time. I think contentment is a good place to want to be, where you're content with life, you know plodding along, and you're content. Anyway, let's get started. So recently I've been wanting some sock blockers, not that I block my socks, because I wash them and then I wear them, but obviously when I'm showcasing yarn, it looks a lot more professional, and you can see the pattern a lot better. Um, so I went on to Etsy, because I like to shop small, and I didn't really want plastic, because I think there's some awesome sock blockers um, sock blockers out there and I came across a lady I will link all of her details down below because I can't remember her name which is awful for this video but eh, I'm not a I'm not a, a seasoned youtuber yet anyway so um, I got some sock blockers from her a medium size because I'm a size 6 and then I also got some stitch markers and yeah so let's have a look so the lady is based in Poland Ooh. Anyway, uh, so the lady is based in Poland, um, and I just thought these were really magical. Uh, she has lots of different um, stencils, uh, you know, like engravements um, on on her website, but I just really like these, and these are a medium, so you will get them and you'll get what the code is, so you, you know, if you've got different size feet within your family and you want to block them, you can. Or you could use the same blocker. I guess you're not going to get the full blockness that you're looking for. But hey, times is hard. So I got these. And then I got some really cute stitch markers from her. If I go close, they're like kitties. And um, some little fish. I just thought they were quite... I I do like... I've, I've got my, my kind of stitch marker that I like, which is... The hooks, like they're like safety pins. I just find them easier to knit with and you can colour code. So if you're doing your socks, I have two of the same colour at the bottom and then a mark where I've done the heel and so on. But it's personal preference, you do what you fancy. So that was from an awesome Etsy seller online. I will get the name, I promise, and I will tag that down below and her shop. Um, what else did I buy recently? Um... This year I've been investing in books because, as you know, I'm moving to Canada in May and books in Canada are not cheap, so I think it's an investment. I think books are an investment. Um, obviously I have a Kindle for reading like books that I usually read, just normal 
books. Sorry if you heard that noise. The uh, Bay Marie's on it's cooking. Um, so yeah, for like just fictional, a bit of fluff reading, I have that on my Kindle. But if I want recipes and books um, that I want a hard copy, because of my dyslexia also, I find it easy to have books, because um, then you've got a reference, you can like put post-its in, um, or a book marker and mark your, um, your books. So, uh, one that I got when I was out with the yarn kitchen, Helen, repping your girl, um, was the... Conscious Creative, and this lovely woman is Philippa Statton, and it and her, her Instagram handle is at five foot inches. If I put it there, and it's just got really awesome color ideas, just to inspire, to be creative, messy, and just it's awesome. So I'll link that down below as well. And then obviously, I like a bit of pom pom. Um, I got the Ready Set Raglan book recently. I love Raglan. I think the finish is stunning. I mean, you get that really nice seam all along here and it just comes together. Um, I have finished 10 projects this year. No, 9, because I've done it on my Ravelry that I wanted to achieve. Um, 10, sorry. <coughs> but um, most of those would be socks. I'm still finishing my cardigan at the moment. If you saw on my Instagram, I was doing short rows on the shoulder, and it turns out it was the armpit. <laughs> it's okay, that's how we learn. Like, I'm not... I can knit, and I know some things, but at the moment I'm trying to understand brioche because there's so many patterns that I would like to do, but my brain can't understand it, and I've watched loads of videos, and I feel like I just need maybe a month of just doing brioche um, little things. I did get a pattern recently on uh, Ravelry that was free and it was like two colour brioche and it makes like a um, a yarn cake holder so while you knit it pulls from the middle and I'll put that in there as well. Um, but obviously yeah the, the patterns in here are awesome and obviously I'm going to knit some up in Mimo Yarn and see how they turn out but I mean it's just a really nice put together book and I like Pom Pom Magazine. Um, so, yeah, um, as I was saying, yeah, there's lots of patterns that I love that I would like to knit, but my head can't fathom it. And then throw in a little bit of this dyslexia for some seasoning and my brain fat. So, yeah, I will, I will at some point manage to get brioche under my belt. If you've got any suggestions, you know, please put them below. Um, what else can I mention? I actually went on a pattern ban for a little while. I did cave because I bought the Pink Fizz by um, Audrey Mowry, which was, which is beautiful. I will link that down below. Oh my god, I've got lots to link. <laughs> I'm full of information. Um, yep, so, as I said, yeah, I was on a pattern ban and that kind of broke for a little bit, but um, I've got far too many patterns and not enough time, and with everything that's going on, trying to move Mimo to Canada and then getting all my study stuff ready for January. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. Overwhelmed in a good sense, I guess. I am really looking forward to studying. I love studying. If I could read off everything that I've learned um, study-wise, I'm a qualified chef. I am also a massage therapist, ITEC level 3, MVQ level 2 in beauty. And um, what else have I done? Uh, tech and design with the bucket list bombshells. I did that while I was in Canada. Um, there's something else that I know there is. I'm Reiki level one and two. Um, Indian head massage. Waxing. Intimate. Uh, who else have I done? I'm about to do the business management course, but that all entails because it connects with my Mimo, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to understand business and management because I would someday like to scale Mimo where I can employ people and I can offer retreats and do lots of fun yarny things to interest people and get their craftiness going. Um, I can see that I've got some minis here. Yeah, so I, if you were on my grid you could see that I was testing out some colours. Um, this was after the peacock spider which was really cool. This was a bit of a take of the woman one, but with different colours. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not, but I like it. It's fun. Uh, this was Ferns and Fairies, but on a DK. So that was cute. 
Um, this one I think is called Cinnamon Berries. I don't know if I'm going to make these, and this is woman but on um, a DK, and obviously when it's just one space area or two, it, it, it dies different, but yeah, I, I do like them. I'm going to be making some hats out of these to just see how they knit up. Um, so yeah, but as you know, I'm doing Yorkshire Yarn Fest this Saturday the 19th. I don't have a stock update because, as you might have seen, I was on Chrissy Glass's YouTube video earlier this month and I wanted to be able to give people the yarn and also because of shipping and getting things in time for Christmas. So it will be all the stock that I have, plus some bags, um, and just showcasing what I've got and then I'll have a new update in January. I'm trying to think what date because I will be studying and I don't want to like bombard my schedule with everything so hence why I am dyeing things up now but for going forward I guess January I don't have any virtual shows but I am doing an update and then in February I have a lot of virtual things going on I can say some of them I'm doing Yorkshire Yarn Fest and I believe that's on the 21st of February um, and then I'm doing something at the beginning of February and then there's a smidge of something going on during February but I can't discuss those just yet um, but and then from March I'm gonna just be winding down slightly um, partly because I am going to be studying and also I don't want to have to do a tax return for one month before I leave so if you run a little business and you know anything about doing tax or you're self-employed and just doing tax returns it doesn't make sense so that's partly my reason I'm honest I know but I'd rather tell you and then um, I'm going to be starting to order this, my equipment that I need for Canada because my Canadian mum is going to house that for me until I get there in May. Um, and we'll just take it day by day. I don't want to put dates on things right now because at this point in time I still have to quarantine for two weeks when I get to Canada because the rules haven't, haven't changed and I uh, completely understand that. So... Yeah, it'll probably be about maybe late May, early June that Mima will be up and running again in um, in Canada. And also, I will maybe have some pre-orders on there, so you could pre-order and then once I'm open I'll start fulfilling those orders and then we'll see what happens. I mean, I am really excited. It's going to be mad because my partner won't be with me. He's going off on his own adventure for a little bit, so we're going to have to do long distance. Um, um, but yeah, we just, the next couple of years is a lot of work, but it's work for the future, and the future holds a lot, you know, but especially for me, Mo, I've, I've never really, I've got all these qualifications and things, but I finally found something that I enjoy doing, I love being creative, crafty, um, and I love meeting different people, and okay, I didn't get to meet lots of people this year, but virtually I've met a lot of people this year, and my business changed from June, like it genuinely did. I had like 300 followers and there's 1,800 of you that follow me because you're interested in what I'm doing. So I appreciate, I appreciate the love, I appreciate the feedback, the love, I said love again. I just, I just love it all and I would like to thank every single person that has either mentioned me, hashtagged, bought some yarn, recommended or just liked and reshared something that I've done because without you, how does word spread? You know, I'm not a multi million pound business that can pay for tons of marketing. I do all of it on my own, like all the graphics, everything. I, I'm self taught. Um, so I appreciate everything and everyone. And, you know, 2020 has been a tough year for everyone. And to say I haven't struggled would be a lie because mentally I don't like, I'm an introvert and I like staying in, but I like to have. The freedom I like to go out and meet friends for a coffee I don't drink coffee or drink tea um but you know or just going to see my nephew just there's just things you can't seem to do at the minute and I'm not the only one so yeah 2020 has not been a fun year and I always had this theory that even years were a good year well that's out the window um so yeah I just wanted to come on and say thanks um I will have my update on um the 19th of December. I just want to say that though you may order from me, it might not, it's not going to get to you before Christmas. I'm, I'm sorry. If you Google Royal Mail UK, you will see what the post office 
and the Royal Mail is having to deal with at the minute. Throw in Christmas, small businesses, other businesses and COVID and you will see that the parcel sorting offices are rammed. I've never seen anything like it. It's great. I mean, it's fantastic. But it's a lot of stress on 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 a business that wouldn't usually have that amount of stress, I guess, you know. Um, so just, you know, be patient. I always try and add the information on there for you. I can always chase something as well with my account. I can see where things are. But, you know, just know that it's not going to really get with, get to you before December. But, I, you know, you know that. I mean, Royal Mail was saying everything should get posted before the 21st, but I just don't see that happening. And I'd rather put that as a contingency. That's for the UK. As for the outside of Europe and the US, you won't get it before Christmas. You might do. I mean, the other day, I sent something to Canada on Monday and it got there on Friday, and that never happens. It takes, like, eight weeks. I know. It's ridiculous. That's why everything is tracked. Also, one more thing to mention. Brexit. It's a load of rubbish. It really is. I'm not a happy bunny about it. I voted Remain. Anyway, um, we're not going to get political, but what I just wanted to say was I am still going to be shipping to the to Europe uh, from the 1st of January. I think something changes from June or July 2021. It's not clear. Nothing is clear, and they don't use standard English. It's all flowery and with a little bit of pepper and salt, and I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. Anyway, so everything, I am still shipping to Europe. Um only difference is you put C2NN on which is the label that says what's in it and I do that anyway um, I don't know if there'll be custom charges or not but you know we'll see but from January 1st all shipping is going to increase I think by 35 pence or a little bit more so bear that in mind and that will be on my website my shop's not closed over Christmas um, things might not get sent out till maybe late December early January but I'll let you know um, just because you might be bored after having your turkey or your vegan nut roast and be like, you know what, I fancy going on Mimo and getting me some gift vouchers for the new shop update in January. Mm-hmm, yes, I offer gift vouchers. Um, what else? Oh, um, the Christmas bags that my mum made, the Here Come the Boys. I've reduced these, so they're £35. I might have to nab one. Um, so, yeah, they're £35. Zipped. And as I said, I've got green lining, two, and then red lining, and I've got two of those. And these would be great for a jumper. Or, if you just wanted to use this as a stocking instead for somebody that you love. Just saying. Um, I don't really know what else. Yeah, I've got um, a lot of stock. Um, again, I've got my cable, Cables and Beyond socks available on Ravelry. If you cannot access Ravelry, please just drop me an email. I can send you an invoice and the pattern and then you'll have it. Um, so that's on there and they're really pretty. And this colorway is crushed velvet on yak sock and hopefully I should be getting some yak if there are stocks available soon and then I'll dye up some more. But if not, I do have the same colorway available on my polder hill. Um, blend and it is really soft like genuinely when I bought it I couldn't stop rubbing it on my face because I'm weird so yes um, 19th of December be there be square I'm on at 8.50 but obviously it's going to be on Yorkshire Yarn Fest's um, grid and mine so if you don't get to w wake up and watch me or you could get up early make yourself like a nice hot beverage and slip back into bed and just watch me for a little bit and um, yeah so I hope you've enjoyed my first YouTube. I've tried to keep it under, I don't know what I've tried to keep it under. I've got loads to say, but I have to save that for other times. Otherwise, I'm never going to have anything to say. Um, yeah. Enjoy your festive season. If you don't celebrate it, I hope you enjoy the rest. Know that things are going to get better, I promise. I don't know when, but things will get better. Um, take each day as you can. If you do a few rows or chains of crochet, remember that's good. There's no pressure to do anything. The whole point of doing a craft is it's a stress relief. It's supposed to be your safe haven. You don't need to put pressure on yourself to get a project finished because at the end of the day, it's a slow progress. 
I think the best thing I I realised about knitting was when you start with a with a cake of yarn or a skein 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 um, and it just slowly starts to grow like the project grows but the yarn goes down because it's just shrinking because you're using it like that is a nice feeling um, so yeah just take it easy if you want to make like I can get I can make a pair of socks in two weeks or a sock a week but then I'm not rushing I'm just taking my time just enjoying the process um, so yeah don't put pressure on yourself and remember if it all gets too much what do you need to do you need to do a woo so you go woo so just let it all out breathing exercises are great okay I hope you have a great day weekend month whenever you're watching this and that you don't take life too seriously and to just look after yourself and always know that hot chocolate will fix anything okay take care and I'll speak to you guys soon